What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Game Boy Original. The one system that makes portable gaming able to be a thing. Well, basically, this wasn't the original portable system. The original one was the Game & Watch that was released five, nine years before this system. It was released in 1980, and this was released in 1989. Um, the Nintendo Game Boy is one of the most recognizable and one of the most important things when it comes to gaming. It's the main reason why the DS exists and the 3DS exist, or anything like the Switch. It's the only re way that we're able to play portable gaming, it's all because of this thing right here. This one little thing that had games the size of a five-year-old's palm and a screen that looked like somebody puked all over the colors. This is the one thing that keeps us sane, pretty much, or kept everyone sane back then who wanted to play video games. The Nintendo Game, the Nintendo Game Boy was released in 1989, uh, originally released because people were complaining about having to buy a brand new system every single time they wanted to play a new game, which was the main problem with the Game & Watch. So, they decided to release the Nintendo Game Boy, one of the uh best gaming systems ever made it ran on four AA batteries for about 35 to 40 hours of battery life and it had a bunch of good games some of them being the pokemon series like pokemon gold yellow and even pokemon blue and if you didn't and if you didn't like pokemon well then they got a way more different games if you don't like pokemon like they got Zelda Link's Awakening. You don't like games like that? Okay, how about this? How about Mortal Kombat? Too brutal? Okay, that's fine. Tetris. Too basic? Okay, how about Donkey Kong Land? You're you're more into Mario. Okay, my bad, my bad. I, I didn't know you were more into Mario. How about this? Mario Land. Boom. It had a game for everybody. Don't matter what you liked, what you hated. The Game Boy was perfect for you. There's way more games that I don't even have that most people like. And honestly, it's just a really good game selection for this thing. It, it's honestly amazing. This system was really good. Uh, it had different things you could do with it. You could just play games like normal. If you wanted to trade or use the light accessory, it goes right there inside of that port. Or there were also some light accessories, if I can find where mine is, right over here. You put it at the top of the Game Boy. You attach it right here. Like so. Turn it on. And you turn this on. And now you can see your Game Boy in the dark. The one that I have is a newbie game light. Uh, which are pretty popular. And basically it makes it to where you could finally play your Game Boy in the dark. So you're not stuck to having to be in light and everything. That's without the light with the light it made it made a huge difference for this even though it made it a bit heavier and it took four batteries just for the light accessory alone which is double the batteries you need if you were just in a light source with the regular game boy it was still really really popular because you were able to finally play in the dark now other systems that were released for portable gaming, like the Sega Nomad, was able to have a bright light and also colors on their screen. So, people decided that instead of how it was played, they wanted how long it could play. So, most people went over to the Game Boy because it had better games and it could play longer. The Sega Nomad and the Atari 600, instead of having a 35 to 40 hour battery life, because of the brighter screen and color, you only got five hours of battery life with seven batteries. So, good luck to them. But the thing is, is that a lot of people just liked the Game Boy because of how it was. Instead of having a, uh, a system that long, that tall, and the games being almost the size of a PS4 controller or an original Game Boy itself... They wanted to go over to the Game Boy. Because of the size of the games, you could easily have your Game Boy in a hand and have a bunch of games stacked in your pockets. 
So in case you're playing Donkey Kong Land and you realize, oh, hey, I don't want to play Donkey Kong Land. You take the game, put it in your pocket, and then you grab Mario and you want to play Mario, you put it in there. One of the smartest moves made by Nintendo was to pack the Game Boy with Tetris. So, the reason of doing that is because someone said, Hey, while packing Mario with the Game Boy would help it appeal to kids, Tetris would help the Game Boy appeal to everyone. So they packed it with Tetris, and it went crazy, selling a whole total of 118.8 million units all together. And... That's a really good number uh, of of units, especially for this, with no color, just puke green, and no backlight, or light in general. There is nothing. Not even, there, there wasn't even a light in it, like the GBASP, which only has a front light on, on the basic models, which was very surprising. But, you know, it is what it is. It's 1989, uh, 1989, so yeah. A little bit later on, people were like, you know what, I'm getting tired of this. I don't want a big, bulky system. So they had the Game Boy Pocket, which was a much smaller and slimmer version of the Game Boy. It is exactly just the Game Boy, nothing different, just the original Game Boy. But the only thing is that it had... Black and white coloring instead of puke green so you could see it better and it didn't hurt your eyes as much. But the thing is, instead of four double A's, two triple A's, and still didn't have a light at all. <laughs> Which people were still happy that it was a slimmer model so you could fit it in your jeans or in your pockets more. But they were still mad about the light. And the last system I'm talking about in this video is the last revision of the Game Boy. Before the Game Boy Color, which was its own system, they had one more revision of the original Game Boy. And it is called the Game Boy Light. Only sold 12,000 units and was Japan exclusive. Think of that. Japan exclusive. That's crazy. Imagine seeing somebody with one of these and wanting to go buy it. You go to the store. It's nowhere to be found. Japan exclusive. The thing is about this is that it took two double A's instead of triple A's or four double A's. It played Game Boy games. But the only difference is that you can play in regular or with a light. Even with me covering up and moving this way, or even putting it over here, you could definitely see it over here. That you could actually have a backlight on your Game Boys. But the thing is, it was only Japan who got these. That's why it sold so little. It sold only 12,000 units within the two years it was out in sales. And that means this is pretty rare. It's a really rare Game Boy, and it normally goes for about four hundred dollars it's the most expensive one to get and the reason why is because it's japan exclusive but it still had all the buttons and everything that the original game boy had it, everything was still the same just that it had a light but the thing with this one and the game boy pocket is that it had a new different size port so even if you didn't want to use a backlight or you didn't have the backlight and you had a game boy pocket there was a warm light that you could use to see it in the dark, which was really useful. So, yeah, it was always good to have back then. But, yeah. The original Game Boy was really good for the gaming history. And did it help it a lot? I I'm going to say yes. Uh, do I recommend getting one? It depends. If you're someone who has a retro channel like mine, or if you are somebody who... Loves to play retro games and plays retro games more than modern games, like myself. I recommend getting this, but get a light accessory or get a modded one with a backlight, which you could find those on Etsy for around $150. So, is it worth it? I'm, I'm going to say yes, but it, it really depends. 
But if you want to hear about the Game Boy Color, go ahead and check out our next video titled The Game Boy Color. This was the original Game Boy, and I'll see y'all with the Game Boy Color. I'm out. Peace.